Hi, and welcome to my Deadman Mode Seasonal Guide. Now, in my intro, I said my guide for a reason, and the things that I say in my guide are how I see or how I would do things. This could differ from player to player, but this guide is for myself, and this might be a little helpful for you too. The first point is the bigger picture. It is seasonal deadman mode, so the servers will reset every three months, and at the final day we will need to fight until there's only one man standing. This means do not do too many unnecessary things, like getting 99 fire making, for example. My second point will be decide your goal. To be the last man standing, you will need to have a high combat and able to kill other players, also known as PKing. Now this is a solo guide, so the best thing should be a hybrid account, so we can use all three different combat styles, where your opponent can only prayer protect one each. Now this can come in conflict with what you can do, and what you actually want to do. If you are in a team, you can ask what kind of account would be needed the most in your clan. Now, I am completely terrible at PKing. I can't even switch from range to two hands in free to play PKing without somehow fucking that up, so keep that in mind as well. So I would like to find a middle ground for these three points. First point is the best account for you to go solo or in your team. What are you capable of? And because this still needs to be a game, what do you actually want to do? To use myself as an example, what I want to do and what my best account is, is the same. Now, the only problem is what I am capable of. So I think I want to be a magic knight during the final day of the seasonal, so I don't have to switch too much gear and I can easily KO with a Dragon Dagger, for example. Now this is just for the final day. For the rest of the time, I will probably be a hybrid, uh, just to try to stay alive. And now it's point three, and it is already the final point. How to reach your goal that you've just set up. Now to reach my final goal, which was to be a Magic Knight, I would need some good melee gear to train with, and a magic training method. For these, I will need money to buy them or I need to get them myself. Now a quick note, if you don't already know, there is a forum of a third party website where people have trade offers and where you can post some of yourself. This website is on the Zybes forums and I will post a link to that forum in the description. Now to make money, for the items that I want to have at the final day, I will need some money making methods and potentially I will have to complete some quests. Now because it is still PvP everywhere, except for in the safe zone, you need to have an actual backup if you would were to die and lose your bank. So actually money for two things, one to put in your deposit box so you can easily rebuild when you die and two is getting items to help you train. Since you can only have 10 items in your deposit box, it will need to be 10 items that sell quite quickly and also have wholesome value. I suggest dragon weaponry and gear, or also some rune or barrows items, depending on how much your bank is worth. I suggest keeping your bank's value as low as possible and try to keep your deposit box up to date with your bank's value. So when you have a rune scimitar of value 30k in your deposit box and you just made an extra 25k, buy an extra item that has either the value of 25k and put it in your deposit box or sell an item that already is in your deposit box and buy an item that is worth both of the values like upgrading your rune scimitar to a rune crossbow, for example. Have most of your bank value in the deposit box and wield your training gear or money making gear. Now I will also give some examples of money making methods. 
The first thing is PKing with or without a clan. Killing people for their brands is always profitable unless you die and actually lose your stuff and stats. So be sure that you are able to get retaliated and that you also have some escape routes nearby your PKing spot. The second one would be gathering herblore supplies. There are various supplies that you can gather and each of them is more profitable than the other but some are also more dangerous and or difficult to gather. Some examples would be the Mordmire Fungi in the Mordmire Swamp, Wet Spider Eggs in Edgeville Dungeon, or White Berries in Isavdar, Wines of Zamorak Telegrapping, etc. Third money making method is farming. It is also a herb lore supply method and it is profitable in the main game as in deadman mode. With farming I mean farming herbs and limpert roots. Currently the value of seeds are the same or a little bit above the herb or the roots value and when it's healthy you will get three roots and a minimum of five herbs which is 500% profit per seed but to do some decent herb runs, I suggest you to have completed the quest Ghost Ahoy and Fairy Tale Part 1 for a quick teleport to the herb patch in Mauritania and have a boost in harvest while building the magic sectors. It is a quite dangerous thing to do because you lose like half your inventory to all your farming stuff. But this was my money making method back when I played in the main Deadman world servers. And this might be the same money making method that I will be using in the seasonals. The fourth one is gathering skills, no surprise, like mining, fishing, woodcutting, thieving and hunter. Those are always a money making method. And then the fifth one will be tanning dragon hides into craftable leather. This is currently between 250 and 500 GP profit each tanned height. Now there are two issues that I see with this money making method. The first one is that if you would use the tanner in Mauritania that is a lot more expensive. And if you would use the one in uh, Al Kerit, that is multi combat zone. And the second point that I might see as a problem is that in this money making method buying and selling will be quite slow. These were just some examples and this was just a guide. You don't have to follow them at all. If you have some more money making methods or tips and tricks for playing that man mode or do you disagree with anything that I have said earlier, be sure to let me know. Okay, thanks bye.